Hello and welcome to Tea With Me. I'm Julia Frainer and I'm so excited to begin this new um, little series that has been percolating for quite some time. And so honored that my first guest is Leslie Ellis with Yoga Heart Song. Um, you know, as I read your bio, Leslie, I can say that the ones, the words that really popped out is seeker, peacemaker, healer. And I so want to add that you are one of the most authentic um, earthlings I have met. <laughs> You're a gentle warrior and uh, a nature explorer. So does that pretty much sum you up? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, feels really good. Feels really good. Thank you, Julia. Yeah, well, thank you. I've taken some classes with Leslie. Can't recommend her enough. Um, she is just gifted at what she offers, and she'll share a little bit more about that. Um, first, what tea are you sipping? Oh, I'm really welcoming this moment to sit down with a cup of um, licorice tea. It's my favorite, and it's one when I sip on it, my body just goes like, Yes, thank you. <laughs> I know there's something about tea to smell it. Yeah, and come into the harmony and the rhythm with it. Nothing brings me more present, I think, than a good cup of tea. Um, I've got uh, an English breakfast with honey and half and half from one of my favorite tea companies out in the Pacific Northwest, out in Bellingham, um, Flying Bird Botanicals. So yay, we're together. In this video series, we're wanting to keep it short and sweet. What I'm wanting to do is interview, introduce a T word. And when the word gravity landed in me, I thought of Leslie right away. And so we're just going to let Leslie explore the word gravity for us. And um, I'm sure we'll get into a little bit of discussion. So ready? Great. Gravity. Gravity. <sighs> The very first thing that comes for me is it's a powerful force. It's a powerful force that helps to hold us to the earth. And that, that is so very important because there's so many of us who live in these, this culture, this Western culture that we do. We spend a lot of time in our heads, a lot of time in the future, a lot of time in the past, but not so, so much time some, at time, sometimes like here, right here in the present. So gravity it draws on the body, it holds us to the ground, and it can help to hold us to the, um, the quality of gravity can help to hold us in, in with ourselves. Mm -hmm. Other thing that comes, do you want me to continue or do you want to say something about oh, that? Keep going, <laughs> keep rolling, so stuff. <laughs> the other thing that comes like kind of right on the heels is gravity, like it's grave. There's so much, everything can feel very heavy. And so there's a way that we sometimes want to escape. We want to like get away from gravity and from everything being so heavy to like get back to the light. And still gravity can help us because gravity doesn't have to be just about heaviness. It's about, again, that quality of presence. Can we really like stand on the earth, allow ourselves to be where we are? And when it's feeling grave, when it's feeling griefful, when it's feeling challenging, instead of escaping into the mind or into worry or into distraction, can we come back home, like really feel ourselves here at home on the earth, in our bodies, what's happening inside, take a deep breath. Breath. and remember like remember the um to be present with the self mm. i could go on and <laughs> i want to hear a little from you if you like yes well this is such embodied work and what you offer is embodied work um what i do is embodied work and it requires that embodiment and i think gravity as you said is that thing that tethers that tethers us not just to the great mother to earth itself herself but it tethers us to ourselves as well and it's coming back home to that um 
We're keeping us landed. So often we want to be out of body. We want to be out there. Um, and when we, why I love yoga so much and have really, Leslie guided me with my own um, limitations, physical limitations. And I use that word very loosely because I do not feel limited, but to um, modify different um, yoga poses for me, uh, it brings me back into the body where I can move, where the energy can flow and allow me then to be that living bridge between the two, between here and there. We get to stretch uh, the whole span. Yeah, so good. Do you have more you want to add to gravity? Yeah, I think as a as a longtime spiritual practitioner, yoga practitioner, I'm a yoga therapist, I'm a soul-based coach. Like there's there's that spiritual element to everything that I do, to the way that I live. One thing that I have observed in the spiritual community is that there's a lot of focus on like the upper chakras, the, the kind of higher realms. So I would also want to say that gravity and that, that tethering, as you say, like it's not, it's a tethering that is a um, like bringing back to home versus like forcing you to stay like down, right? It's, it's not like the string on the helium balloon all to, where like if the balloon really wants to fly like when we're grounded like that when we come into the body when we focus into these lower chakras and and really support ourselves as human beings i i do feel like i am an earth being <laughs> but you know when we when we live like that our hearts can fly our minds can fly our, like spirits can open wide so it's not either or, it's both. And in having both, then we have more wholeness. So we, we feel more whole, no longer like trying to escape or transcend. That's another word in spirituality, right? We want to transcend the human experience somehow or transcend our negative feelings or transcend our difficulties, transcend, move beyond what's happening. We are humans. All of this stuff is happening. Mm -hmm. This is life. This is life. Walking earth life day by day, all this stuff is happening. The more present we can be in it, the less grave it will feel. <laughs> Actually, the less like the less heavy and 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 um, um, depleting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, less dense too. Like that, it be it it. it, it alleviates the density by encouraging us to embody these delightful bodies. This Again, this is such embodied work and gravity is part of that. So, so good. Mm -hmm. So Leslie, I know you have a new offering coming up. You wanna share that here? I would love to. First, I wanna thank you for inviting me. And, and I love this, like taking a word like that and just being able to to kind of play with it and explore it and see what it is gravity i love that um yeah so i do have an event coming up that i would love to invite people to i'm really excited about it it's called centered and radiant it's a spring equinox retreat for renewal and reflection it's a two-hour virtual retreat with me guiding you in gentle movement so we're gonna get embodied We'll do some reflective practices, meditation, some journaling, some guided journaling. Um, and I love to bring in some of the wisdom that I have in from my soul-based coaching background to help to guide us into a more into more clarity about what our souls are longing for. One of the teachings that I love to share are the realm, the four realms of sacred self-care. So we'll be looking at that too, like what really is self-care. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> so let me just it's it's intended to be a space where you really to have that experience of coming home to yourself and to even leave with a a, a simple plan for carrying that forward with yourself as you go on from the retreat. So that's on March 24th, it's a Sunday. I'm in the Pacific time zone. So it's for at 10 a.m. Pacific, 10 to 12. 
And um, yeah, we'll put a link to the information wherever you see this video. Um, and you're always welcome to reach out to me at leslie at yogaheartsong.com if you have any questions or um, just want to connect in any way. Thank you. I'm so excited. And I hope those of you that see this first tea with me, you join me when I join Leslie at this retreat. It is going to be so good. All of yours are good, Leslie. <laughs> Thank you so much. I am just honored that you are my first guest and I knew gravity was just the word for you. So you've always brought me back down to earth anytime I've sat with you. So I appreciate it so very much. Take really good care, everyone. Um, and we will see you next time with Tea With Me. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.